Hey everybody, I'm just here to encourage you, since we're not meeting tonight physically, uh, I just want to send this video out to you. I wore this bright shirt just for you, to let you know this is the day the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. What an awesome, awesome time of history for you and I to experience the faithfulness of God, to experience His promises that are all yes and amen in Christ Jesus. And um, this Sunday... We'll be live streaming at 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to go through Psalm 91, verse by verse. But I want to encourage you in this. Psalm 91 says this, that he delivers us from the noisome pestilence. Now, that's King James. The word pestilence there is epidemic. The word noisome is raging. So he's going to deliver us from this raging epidemic. That's the promise of God. And so we have this promise as Christians now, the world, they don't have that promise. They don't understand that promise. So we as Christians have to show them kindness and love in the situation that they're in because, you know, the world, their world is falling apart right now. But we're here. God is still on the throne. He's still our Father. He's still our Lord. The Holy Spirit's with us. The Word of God's never changed. So we're in a good place. So we don't meet together physically. No big deal. Here's what you can do. Get a list, if you have it, I think you do, of, of everybody in the shepherd's house. What an opportunity for you to call each other, email each other, to build each other up, to encourage. How are you doing? Let's pray together. Let's encourage each other. Let's, let's continue to do that. What an awesome, awesome time. And don't join in with the world talking about all the bad things that's happening. This is going to change. As, as quickly as this epidemic came, it's going to go. Our president's going to be a hero. Our country's going to come out of this better than before. In fact, I think the whole world will. And I want to encourage you in something. Dorothy and I canceled uh, a flight this Friday. We were going to Andrew Womack's to a conference, which they canceled. And we called this precious lady, and she was changing the reservation for us. And you could tell she was just wore out. So, I mean, think about what they're going through. And Dorothy said to her, said, you know, we appreciate, we know you're working hard for us and we really appreciate it. And she said, thank you for your kind words. Listen, we need to be a, a voice of kind words to people out there. Not, not a voice of joining in to all the craziness. What an opportunity for us to express the love of Jesus Christ. The reason we're not meeting is twofold. Number one, our civil authorities are placed there by God, according to the Word of God, and they have said that Denton County, you can't have more than 50 people. They have also said that they would like from 8 p.m. at night till 7 a.m. at 6 a.m. in the morning to, to stay home, and so we're going to do that. That's why we're not gathering tonight or Sunday morning. We'll see what next Wednesday night brings. If we still can't gather, we will live stream next Wednesday night. I can tell you that. But I want you to be in a place of love where we respect our authorities over us. Also, um, what an opportunity for us to, as we go to stores or whatever we're doing, to be a voice of hope to those around us. This is an opportunity for us, church, to do that. And to love our neighbors ourselves and to, to show the community that we do care for them and that we do support those in authority over us. We're not a rebellious people. And so I just want to encourage you today. Be strong, for the Lord thy God is with thee. Take advantage of this time. Movies are shut down, all sports, all that stuff. Don't just replace it with more stuff. But you can do it through media. Maybe this is an opportunity for you to spend more time with the Lord. Study the Word a little more. Maybe this is your opportunity to not be so busy. Anyway... Dorothy and I, we love you. Uh, we're in a great time. This is going to pass, and we're going to we're going to continue on with the faithfulness of God to see a revival come to the world like it's never seen before. So be blessed, be encouraged, and uh, I'm going to live stream Sunday morning at ten o'clock. All right, be a blessing to somebody today.